The Parable of the Good Samaritan, Chapter 3. Keep walking. That's what I tell myself. I know that there's something out there terrifying in front of me, but I have to walk past it. I have to get to Jericho, and there's no turning back. But then I stop, just dead in my tracks. This thing, it's barely 10 feet uh, in front of me, but I know that it's not a thing. It's clear as day that this is a man lying there, just as naked as he was born. But his skin, it isn't as smooth. It's not like that baby's butt kind of smooth skin. It's bloody and bruised. And it's puffy and it's black and blue. And I think he's dead. I'm pretty sure he's dead. I mean, just look at the guy. All right. Just walk on by. I mean, there's no helping him now. Maybe, maybe if I had gotten here an hour earlier, there would have been something that I could have done. But it's too late now. Just walk on by. You have to get to Jericho. So I gingerly make my way past him, stepping ever so softly, as if a heavy footfall could awaken a man from the dead. And I'm even with him now. And I take that sideways glance, even though I don't want to. Did I just see him breathe? No, that's just my imagination playing tricks on me again. And then the man coughs. And he coughs an unmistakable cough. That deep, gurgling, bloody cough. And I'm frozen. What in the world am I supposed to do now? Help him? Help him, you say. How about you come and help him? I'm not a doctor. I'm no great physician. What good could I do? I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. I have no medicine to give this man. I don't even have a bandage. I have no donkey to place him upon. And I'm not as strong as I used to be that I could pick him up and carry him the rest of the way to Jericho. Besides, what if whoever did this to this guy is still out there waiting for me? They could be. They probably are. Am I supposed to risk my life for this guy that I've never met before? Would you? Besides, I'm supposed to be in Jericho tonight. I have to get there tonight. I have to get myself from here to there, from Jerusalem to Jericho. That was the plan. That's what is supposed to happen. I don't have time to help this poor wretch. And if he's not dead already, then surely he's half dead. He's mostly dead. He wouldn't even make it to Jericho. Wouldn't survive the journey. Okay. Fine, this is what I'm going to do. I'll quicken up my pace. And I'll get to Jericho as fast as I can. And then I'll tell the magistrate about this poor fool on the side of the road. And then he can go and send a whole team out here to get him. Maybe even send a good, proper doctor, too. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. And if not good, then it's the best that I can do. Did we do good? Is that, is that okay? If, if you liked that, hit the button that says that you like that. Maybe even subscribe to see more of these. Even give. Help us fund this mission of making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.